welcome back. It's been a long time, I know, but I've had a lot going on. There's another project I'm working on as well, alhamdulillah, for my daughter. Um, so today I'm making masala gima, and you will love it. So what I'm doing first is I've got about four onions here, because I think the meat that I'm using is about three pound um, chicken leg thai gima. And it's small chani, they call it like a small, quite um, minced, whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to fry the onions in the oil for about a good five to six minutes before I add in the mince. I'm going to add in one um, tablespoon of salt now, bismillah. And I might put some in later after I've tasted it, but this is just for the onions to sweat out and it helps them to disintegrate a bit. Yeah, so inshallah it goes all right. Um, yeah, um, I've got a lot of simple videos of simple dishes like um, Ali Shorma and stuff like that. And what I might do is I've got so much content I need to put it up. So what I will do is um, put that up in between me making the do my other project, and um, and then because I'm thinking I'm only trying to put up the brilliant dishes. But the simple dishes are really important as well to know how to cook them and how to make them taste nice. So I'm going to start adding them in. And also, do you prefer it this way or do you prefer it um, when I do a voiceover? Please let me know. Okay, so it's five to six minutes. Starting to stick to the pan, the kray. And um, I'm going to add in the kima now. Bismillah. Okay, bismillah. So that was, I'm sure I mentioned that was four onions. And what I've done is put the kima in. I've used three pound kima, which is about one and a half kg, and just a bit slightly less. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let this brown up until it all dries up and all the juices run through, and that's when I'm gonna start adding my other ingredients in. So I'll tell you how long it takes me. And remember, I know I have exact timing, but I just remembered before the other day that my gas is slightly slower than normal gases. So do be careful. That you do check on your dish now and then so it doesn't burn so inshallah this should be fine okay so um it's been 20 minutes it took for the juices to run through so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna add in bismillah tomatoes some people don't want to add this in it's fine if you don't um because i'm making masala kima i'm adding them in so i'm gonna let it cook in with the tomatoes and let that cook for a while first, then I'll add in the spices. I'm going to add a little bit of ginger now. Bismillah. For some reason, ginger tastes really nice with gimo. Really, really nice. And I'm just going to let it cook for another 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 5 minutes. The tomatoes have slightly um, melted a bit. But, um... Uh, but they haven't completely, they've softened, but they haven't completely gone. So this is where I'm going to add in the spices. And it's a mixture of a few spices. I've written the um, what spices and how much I'm using down below. So please look at that. Um, <laughs> when I put them all together, um, I've forgotten, kind of. Anyway, so paprika is definitely there. Jeera, coriander, jeera is cumin, turmeric, red chili powder, black pepper, cloves, cardamom. Bismillah, so put all the spices in. Come let it cook. Then add the yogurt. Mmm, smell the aroma. Um, you can. Uh, what I did with the jeera was I roasted the cumin, and then I uh, blitzed it. And then I added some coriander and some green chilies. They are optional. So anyone who can't take the heat get out of the kitchen no one joking um if you can't take the heat don't put the green chilies in if they're not necessary because i'll put red chili powder in but usually if you put less red chili powder in more of the green chilies that's better for your health than actually adding red chilies in and preventing yourself from the green chilies i don't know why i heard it somewhere before but it also it is true so i'm gonna let this cook for another 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll add the peas in when I add um, in the yogurt because it's the yogurt that makes it a bit more masala fied and it makes it taste nice. So I'm just cooking this for a bit now. Okay, so I've mixed it around for about three or four minutes. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, the yogurt. This is three quarters of a cup of yogurt. And I'm also going to add in the peas right now as well. You don't need to add peas in. If you don't want to, you don't need to. I add them in. It gives it a nice um, different balance of taste. But you don't need to. Bismillah. And I'm going to keep mixing. Like I said to you, whenever you add yogurt to a a mixture make sure it's on high heat now and let it cook until it starts bubbling and then let go of it otherwise you'll split okay it took about a minute the mixture is bubbling so now i know i can take my time and now you'll see the reason i left the tomatoes a bit whole like just softened but a bit whole is because by the time i finish all this procedure and the color comes back the tomatoes will have like they'll be non-existent you can't see them but alhamdulillah I can smell the aromas at the end I'll add a bit more coriander once the colour comes back up and finish it off with ginger garnishing alhamdulillah it's been about 10 yeah, 10 minutes I've been mixing and you can see the oil is separated I mixed it around here is where you ask yourself I'm going to do the garnishing now right at the end but if you like it this consistency you leave it if you don't like it this consistency I'm going to add a little bit of water to it because it depends on what they prefer in your household. So if they prefer a drier consistency, leave it like this. If they like it to be a bit more looser, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Just a little bit. Because remember, overnight, the meat will suck up the water anyway. So bismillah. Just adding it. See, just a really small amount. Just to loosen it up. And then... Sorry about all the sticking on the side, but... I love the taste of that. I'm gonna add in, bismillah. Now these chilies I've put slits in. I know you think I've added so many more chilies, but these won't add spice, okay? These will just add a nice aroma and the one who eats it, it will probably add spice for that. So I'm adding them two in. Coriander, alhamdulillah. And obviously wash your hands and a little bit of ginger at the top. Give it a little mix so I always make sure it covers the chili. So I'm now gonna add a little bit more water in, and then I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for another 10 minutes on a low heat just so that the chilies get cooked up and the oil separates. Bismillah. After 10 minutes, it's done. The chilies are cooked. The oil has separated and mashallah smells so nice.